Yang Gia was honest enough to admit that he was surprised at how his ragtag version of a heel as Pilipinas crew performed two nights ago. Who would have expected that, Giao asked the inquirer Friday afternoon on the way to team practice, referring to the 96-59 victory by the Filipinos over Kazakhstan that jump-started the Philippine campaign in the 18th Asian Games here. That was farthest from my mind, he went on as he praised the team he assembled less than two weeks ago for a job that almost blew his mind. I guess it only goes to show the determination of the players to prove themselves and, more importantly, represent the country well. Giao said he is having a difficult time getting his system in place as the Philippines, and the other countries as well, is getting just 50 minutes a day to practice, whether this be at the official GBK Basketball Hall or at Gore Pulugating Stadium. As you can see, that's just what we have, Giao said, pointing at the electronic scoreboard at the old gym that started a 50-minute countdown for the Healers practice. Healers plays Mighty China Tuesday and Giao is thankful for the break that they have so they could get Jordan Clarkson in the scheme of things. He's confident that the Cleveland Cavalier in the NBA will catch on to his system very quick. If the others got it right away, someone with his intelligence on the basketball court will surely get it in a few practices. Dot Clarkson flew in from a long-haul flight from Los Angeles via Singapore before noon on Thursday and is battling jet lag. There's a part of Gao's coaching staff that is making sure that Clarkson gets acclimatized as soon as possible and won't be groggy for the China game. There are people from the Healers team that stayed with him before nighttime of Thursday to make sure that he doesn't sleep at the wrong hour, defensive anchor Gabe Norwood said with a smile. That's hard, being denied of sleep. But he has to do it, and our guys did a good job at it. Dot Giao and his coaching staff have an idea of the competition they will face when they play the Chinese, and reiterated that the arrival of Clarkson has given the Philippines something to hope for. Before he came over, we were listed as the absolute underdogs, Giao said. But now, we're just the slight underdogs and who knows, maybe we can shock the world. What team Philippines lacks in size against China it will make up for in speed. With Clarkson, Giao has possibly the best guard rotation in the tournament together with Stanley Pringle and Paul Lee.